Welcome warriors. We are still in the quarantine and uh, we are going to be doing our Friday workout. We're going to be doing a 10 to 1 pyramid this Friday and have a delightful little ab finisher at the end. So I'm super excited to do this workout with you. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get our heart rates up. And uh, um, if you have a light kettlebell or a light dumbbell, um, that will be great. We will only need the um, kettlebell slash or dumbbell for one of the exercises out of the entire circuit. So um, we can also, um, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll, it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty easy body weight circuit today. Easy. Ha <laughs> ha. What does that mean? Anyway. Um, Guys, uh, story of the day. So um, yesterday, uh, Josh and I had the opportunity to go volunteer for the Clark County Food Bank. Uh, we were loading uh, boxes of food into people's cars. And, you know, it's been a, quite a while since I've done, done volunteer work. I used to do volunteer work consistently when I lived in uh, Columbus, Ohio, years ago. And then I moved out here and somehow that has had left my pattern of behavior. And I forgot how much um, I really, really like volunteering and how much it, it makes me feel good. And you just get that, that dopamine rush from, from helping out. And I swear, like right now, especially with being, um, being quarantined and not being around people, and I, I love being around people, that it really, really fed my soul yesterday to be around other human beings in an environment where we're all helping out and we just feel like we're connecting as a community. And uh, definitely wanted to do a couple warrior shout outs to um, number one, Emily, um, who um, works at the Clark County Food Bank. And, um, you know, we just got to watch her be a total boss and just run the show so elegantly and so, so lovely. Um, and then uh, Courtney, um, another one of our warriors who used to work at the Clark County Food Bank that still volunteers there twice a week. And um, she actually gave Josh and I a ride up there, which was fantastic. And, um, you know, everything was really safe with it. Like we were masked up, we had gloves on. Everybody had their own really, really specific job as cars pulled up and we loaded them in. But um, I, just, I just cannot sing the praises enough of the Clark County Food Bank for what they're doing. Um, we're doing our 10 penny challenge. I wanna give my squishy to the Clark County Food Bank because they provided a service that I could go and help with yesterday and it made me feel really, really good. So my squishy, my squishy to them. Um, Anyway, guys, we are going to get into our workout and uh, yeah, let's get into some mobility. All right. Yeah. Hopefully you have your water. I'm going to talk really loud because I have the fan going on and uh, Josh is making a bunch of noise too. So we got that going on. Uh, so I'm going to go into my Cossack lunge stretch. So I'm going to be in this uh, tripod, tripod position. I'm going to rock back onto that heel and forward. So guys, I do this. I do this a lot in my in my warm up with the mobility, because it's such a nice, gentle stretch on that groin. So we're we're not going extreme with this. All right, it's just a lot a lot of noise going on this morning. Holy crap! Stay loud. Stay loud. All right, ten times, guys. We're rocking. Josh has put on the Food Fighters, so we're rocking out to that too. Then we're gonna do a leg lift. <laughs> we're gonna do five of these. So again, guys, I am not lifting that hip up. I'm keeping that glute down. I'm just raising and lowering that leg. You should feel that really intensely in that glute, all right? Now I'm gonna go to the other side for my Cossack stretch. Rocking back and forth. I'm up on this toe in the back. What a nice way to say good morning to those inner thighs. Hello, inner thighs. We're going to be nice and gentle with you. Nine and ten. Awesome. Now, leg lift. Boom. Two, three, four, five. Nice. All right, guys, we're gonna stay in this quadruped position. And what I wanna do is I wanna do some shoulder circles. So I'm gonna bring my shoulders back down to my hips. I'm gonna take them up to the ceiling, then to my ears, and then I'm gonna reach out of my shoulders. So that's a circle, a big circle one way. 
So let's go ahead and do five in this direction. Three, four, five. Then I'm going to go five the other way. Three, four, and five. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to go into this kneeling position. I'm going to bring my hands out to the sides, my thumbs pointed up at the ceiling, so I'm going to keep some tension in those arms. Squeeze in those glutes. I'm going to bring my head forward to the side, to the back, to the other side, and forward. So I'm doing some nice neck circles. Being gentle with that neck. We're going to go five the one way and then five the other. Ah, wow. Yep. Feeling tight in those neck, in that neck and that shoulder this morning. All right. So we should have gone five in both directions. And while we're here, let's get those arms warmed up just a little bit more. Let's go into this horizontal plane, getting those, getting that nice range of motion. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Keep squeezing those glutes. All right. Eight, nine, 10. All right, let's go ahead into a vertical plane. Oh, I'm bringing my arms back and up. Still being gentle, just getting a nice natural swing with it. I'm not really pushing this too hard. Five, six, seven, eight, ah, nine, ten. Woo, yeah. All right, now we're going to go into our yoga windmill. So I'm going to be in this high plank. I'm going to bring my one foot next to my hand, and then I'm going to bring that knee forward over that ankle as I reach forward with my hand, and then I'm rotating my hand and my shoulder as I look towards that back wall, following my hand with my eyes, and then I'm gonna go into the world's greatest stretch where I'm bringing that elbow to the ground. Step back a little bit, I'm gonna go to the other side. So I am reaching forward, sorry, same arm as leg. Had that a little backwards. Uh, this makes more sense. There we go. Reaching back. Yep. Bringing that elbow down. Whoo. All right, let's switch it out to the other side. I'll do it right this time on this side. <laughs> reaching, 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 rotating with that arm. Getting this knee over this foot, getting nice tension in the back leg. Let's go one more time on the other side. Reaching. Ah. All right. Nice. Great job. So guys, we're going to be doing a bunch of squats with this circuit. So we're going to go ahead and get warmed up with that. So if you have a kettlebell, great. If you have a dumbbell, that's fine too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna step in front of whatever you have. And then I want you to come into this hinge position and I want you to reach back, all right? And then I'm gonna have you squeeze your glutes forward at the top, bring those hips back, squeeze those glutes forward at the top. We're just touching, we're not grabbing it at this point, all right? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now we're going to step over our kettlebell or our dumbbell. All right. Same thing. I want to pull that butt back. Again, I'm just touching the horns, coming back up, coming down, or getting my hands beneath my knees in this. RDL, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, so for our warm up, we're going to go through each of the exercises in the circuit so that we get familiar with them, we get warmed up with them, we have all of our equipment all figured out before I start the timer for 22 minutes and then we're gonna go into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is our 10 squats. So if you want to, you can just do body weight. Actually, let's just do body weight right now in our warm up. So we're gonna do 10 squats. I want you to get down low, widen out those feet, try to get those elbows on the insides of those knees and then really squeeze those glutes forward at the top. Three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you're gonna need your kettlebell or some dumbbells for this next thing, which is our high pull. And with the high pull, what we're gonna do is we're going to come into an RDL. So I'm in this Romanian deadlift where I'm pulling my butt to the back wall and I'm really feeling this in my hamstrings. And then I'm going to power up out of my legs as I go into this upright row, all right? So when I do this, I'm going to actually come up onto my toes as the force of my leg, my legs, propels me up, all right? So go ahead and give me 10 of those. Now I want you to take your time with this, guys. I don't want you to rush through it because I want you to really get the force of the leg to help you get that kettlebell or dumbbell up. We're going to just do 10 as far as our warm up is concerned. Nine and 10. There we go. Now, I want you to make sure that you're getting all the way into that RDL. Then you're going into your upright row, all right? All right, so next, we're gonna be going into our push-ups. So for our push-ups, you can do this from an elevated surface. You can do it from the ground if you're able to do a strict push-up. I just want you to keep those elbows in tight or at a 45, just make sure you don't go into your elbows being at the same level as your shoulders. All right, so if you're doing it from an elevated surface, you can actually go ahead and get rid of this. If you're going into an elevated surface, you can come down to your chest and back up. So I'm keeping my butt slightly elevated. I'm not losing those abs. Coming down and up. Now, keeping those elbows in tight. All right, so if I'm on the ground, coming down, make sure you don't cheat yourself on these guys, all right? Coming all the way to the floor and up. We're always touching that chest to the floor, okay? So um, let's do 10 of those as far as our warm up is concerned, whichever way that you're doing it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, guys, we're going to be doing a bunch of push ups in this circuit and so if you want to maybe start a little bit easier and then work harder as we go through the um the uh pyramid so you might want to start in an elevated surface for like the ones where you're doing circuits um or sets of 10 um 10 9 8 and then maybe go to the, the to the floor when you're doing your sets of three two one you know just see, you can always play around with it. You can always go back and forth. Oh, the only thing I care about is perfect form with this. So then we have our lateral lunge with touchdown. So I'm gonna step out to the side and I'm gonna place my hands on the ground. I'm gonna step back in. Stepping out to the side, I want a long lunge. Come back in. Sorry guys, yeah, there's a lot of traffic out there. It seems like everything's back to normal as far as traffic is concerned. Let's go ahead. As far as our warm up is concerned, let's just do five on each side. So, touching those hands to the ground, coming back up. Four, five. All right. Then we have our hamstring mobility. So, for this one, we're going to be on the ground on our backs. 
laying on our back, so I want you to make sure that you're getting your, your lower back into the ground. I'm going to start with both legs at the top, and then I want to get a nice tension in that top leg. My bottom leg is reaching towards that back wall, keeping this leg straight, coming back up to center, then taking it out to the other side, all right? So I'm not up with this, guys. I'm not off my shoulder blades. I'm not off my neck. Coming back down, switch it out. All right. Let's go ahead and just do five on each side, just as far as our warm-up is concerned. I'm trying to get that leg as straight as I possibly can, getting that really nice quad stretch. All right. Do one more. All right. So those are all the exercises in our 10 to 1 pyramid. Our squats are our cardio primer. So every single time, we're going to be doing 10 squats to start. Then we're going to do 10 high pulls, 10 push-ups, 10 lateral lunges on each side, 10 hamstring mobilities on each side. And then we do 10 squats, nine high pulls, nine push-ups, nine lateral lunges, nine hamstring mobilities. We always start with 10 squats. So with these squats, if you want to use weight, that's great. If you want to just do body weight, that's fine too. Or you can even do a prisoner squat. We're going to start with 10 squats in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a dumbbell for mine. One. And we're not rushing it. Two, three, four, five, six. Making sure we hit that depth. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Then we have our high pulls. So if you're doing your high pulls with dumbbells, that's great. All right. I want you to make sure you come into that full RDL. And then you're up on your toes as you come up and go into that upright row. All right. Three, four. Leading with those elbows, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Now we have our push-ups. My shoulder's feeling a little cranky this morning, so I'm gonna do elevated push-ups. Feet, knees, everything is together. Everything's on. You're a solid plank, coming up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have our lateral lunge with touchdown. Going into my lateral lunge, trying to get those hands as close to the floor as possible. Now, if you're just here, that's fine. But I would like you to get into a long lunge with this. Ten on each side. Five. Ugh. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice. Hamstring mobility on the ground, getting that lower back to push into the ground. My shoulder blades are on the ground. My head is on the ground the entire time. Bringing this leg out. It's not touching the floor. It's just right above the floor. As I'm getting a nice tension in this top leg, feeling those hamstrings stretch. My quad should feel really activated. 10 on each side. Ah. 
right, guys, we're going to start from the top. I'm going to grab some water, and I'm just going to rest for a few seconds, and then I'm going to go back into it. But again, with our cardio primer, which is our squats, we're always doing 10, all right? All right. So, going into it, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then I'm going to go into my high pulls. So I have my feet more narrow than it is in my squats. I'm coming over into this RDL. And then I'm coming up into my upright row. So just nine this time, guys. Really power up with those legs. That's why you're going up onto those toes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Then our nine push ups. Alexa, resume. Five, keeping those elbows in tight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! Yeah. Then we have our lateral lunges. Stepping out, touching down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, aha, eight, and nine. All right. Then I have my hamstring mobility on the ground. Really reaching. Trying to get this hamstring a nice stretch. We're taking our time with this, guys. We're not rushing it. I try to lock out my leg. So I'm pretty flexible. When Josh does this, he has his legs at more of an angle or his top leg at more of an angle. And that's where he feels the stretch. I gotta get a little bit more extreme to feel the stretch. You do you, you feel the stretch. That's as far as you go, all right? I am. Point those toes, Lucy. Point them? As a foes of flex? <laughs> you want to touch the ground? I thought you wanted to have tension. There? Okay. What? All right. All right, guys, I think I got one more on each side, but I'm not sure. Just nine on each side. Woo! All right, getting some rest. And then we're going into it. Now, since this isn't a speed strength day, you can, if you want, really up that weight, that resistance with these squats. That's totally fine. So if you have heavier dumbbells, if you want to use two dumbbells, if you have a heavier kettlebell, you can totally use that with your squats. Or you can use body weight. Just judge what your body feels like today and how far you want to push yourself. All right, guys, we're always starting again with the 10 squats. And then we're going to do eight of each exercise. All right? So this time I'm going to use 
my kettlebell. Go ahead and give me eight. I'm sorry, 10, 10, ah, dear God. Nice, Heather. Try not to lean so far forward, Steve. Try to keep, try to stay a little bit more upright. I don't want you to do in this. I want you to come in, yeah, staying upright. That's gonna get you down lower. There you go. All right, guys, then we have our high pulls. Eight high pulls. So I'm gonna try this time with my kettlebell. Whoo, coming up. Coming up on those toes. Six. Nice. Guys, those look great. All right, then you're going into your push-ups. Your push-ups. We're doing eight push-ups. Yeah, try to get all the way, get that chest to touch the ground, Steve. There you go. All right, when you're done with your eight push-ups, then you're going into your eight lateral lunges on each side. Going into those lateral lunges. I'm sorry, touching the ground. There we go, nice, Brenda. Great job, Heather. There you go, Steve, nice. Eight on each side, guys. When you're done with those lateral lunges, that's when you're gonna go into your hamstring mobility. There you go, nice, Heather. Hamstring mobility, I'm on the ground. Grabbing that one leg, getting that other leg close to the ground, taking our time. Getting this really nice stretch on. Locking out that quad. Eight on each side. All right, almost everybody's out of their camera frame when we're doing those hamstring mobilities, that's fine. All right, we're gonna get some rest. 10 squats and then seven of each exercise. Guys, we have about 10 minutes left. It's obviously gonna go faster and faster as we have less reps. All right, so getting a couple more seconds of rest. Hopefully you got some water, grabbing that. All right, then going into my squats, getting deep with it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Just seven high pulls this time, guys. All right, getting into that RDL, going into that upright row. Boom, really power up out of it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, just seven push-ups this time. Just seven push-ups, you got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then we have our lateral lunges. 
with touchdown. Stepping into it, getting that butt to pull back to that back wall. Keeping that back flat. Just seven on each side. I lost count. So I think I'm just gonna do one more on each side. Ooh, yeah. All right, then we have our hamstring mobility. Oh, I really like ending each one of these sets with this. It feels really good. Uh, just giving our hamstrings some lovin's. Three, four, five, taking it slow, taking it slow. Do not rush through these. Six, ah, and ah, seven. Yeah, woo! All right, going into our six set or six reps each. Whew. This time, I might just go ahead and do a prisoner squat. I'm feeling it. All right, guys, a couple more seconds of rest. Let's go into our 10 squats. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, get that depth, get that depth, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right. I got my six high pulls. RDL, upright row. Woo! Really power up. Feel that stretch in that hamstring at the bottom before you come up. Use those legs to help you power up. Four, five, ah, six. All right, six push-ups. Woo! One, two. Keep those bodies straight, guys. Don't lose those abs. Three, four, five, and six. All right, lateral lunge with touchdown. Pull that butt to that back wall. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Yeah, nice. All right, guys. Going into those hamstring mobilities, locking out that top leg, really reaching to the wall in front of you with that other leg that's coming to the ground. Four, four, five, five, six, six. I'm really feeling like I get, I'm getting more and more extension with those hamstring mobilities, the more we're going through this, all right? Taking a little bit of rest, and then we're going back into it. So when you're doing these workouts, what I want you to do is you can go slower or faster than me. I just want you to make sure that you're not rushing through any exercise. I want you to make sure you hit really, really perfect form, which is always, but this is not speed strength day, okay? So we're definitely not rushing these squats. 
doing 10. One, two, three, four. Really lock out those hips at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, guys, got about two and a half minutes left. Now we're doing five. Five high pulls. Again, we're not rushing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, five, just five. Ah. <laughs> now we're going into our five push ups. One, two, three, four. Five, going into our five lateral lunges. One, two, three, four, five. All right, then we got our five hamstring mobilities. Woo! Here we go, guys, here we go. Taking it slow, getting that stretch. Three, uh, four, and five, ah, all right. Woo, okay guys, we got about 45 seconds left. I'm gonna go right into my squats. When the timer goes off, we stop. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four high pulls. One, two, three, four. Four push ups. One, two, Three, four. Actually, we're almost done, so let's just finish up this round of four. One, with our lateral lunges and touchdown. Two, three, and four. Hamstring mobility. Woo! Lock out that leg. Reach with the other. Whoo! This is two. Three. Guys, when you're done, stay on the ground. Four. All right. We are going to do abs. We're gonna do an ab finisher. We're gonna do three sets of 10 of the following exercises. We're gonna do knee grabs, penguins, and swimmers, all right? So if you need to grab your mat, grab a mat. Otherwise, we're gonna go right into it. So for my knee grabs, my arms are in tight to my chest, my legs are out straight. I throw those arms forward, I grab my shins bringing those shoulders over those hips, getting those feet flat on the ground at the top, coming back down. Go ahead, give me 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, and 10. All right, going right into our penguins. 
my feet are close to my butt, my, I'm up on my shoulder blades, and I'm reaching as far down my shoe as I can as I'm extending the obliques on, the other, on one side and then contracting them on the other. Give me 10 on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, 10. All right, guys. Now, we're going into our swimmers. So we're on our bellies, pushing those shoelaces into the ground. I want you to fully reach forward, extend those arms forward, splaying those fingers, and then bring your elbows to your hips, and then back. Elbows to hips, giving that little bit of extension at the top. Three, give me 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome. All right, guys, let's do another set. We're gonna do two more sets of each of those exercises. We shouldn't need much rest with this, but feel free to take rest if you need it. Otherwise, we're going right back into it. 10 knee grabs. Now, feel free to go faster than me or slower than me on these ab exercises. Just make sure your form is perfect. And what I mean by that is I don't want you coming here at the top having those feet off the ground. You end fully at the top with those feet flat on the ground. All you gotta do is touch those shoulder blades to the ground. You do not need to go into a full extension. You just touch those shoulder blades at the bottom, come back in. All right, going into my penguins, penguins. Reaching down, feeling those obliques. Put your attention <coughs> into the part of your body that you're activating, okay? So we're really thinking about those obliques as we're crunching on either side. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. Woo! Going over onto my belly for my swimmers. Full extension with those arms, pulling back. Pull those shoulders, those elbows back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo! One more set of each of these guys. All right, this is gonna be our last set. This is Thank you, Coach Josh. All right, guys, knee grabs. You got this, you got this. Hopefully, you're really feeling your abs now. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, penguins. Last set of penguins. Reach, reach, reach. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whew, and 10. Ha ha. All right. Last set of swimmers. Pushing those shoelaces into the ground. Coming up as we reach those elbows to our hips. Full extension forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo! All right. Guys, let's grab water for a second. And then we're gonna go into our homework slash dessert. Yeah. All right. 
So we have our Cossack lunges. Trying to get that hamstring as close to that calf as possible as we go into this long lunge, making sure this toe points up to the ceiling as we do it. Just lost my shoelace. Keep going. <laughs> Little wardrobe malfunction there. Ah. Oh. Get deep, get deep, get low. Now, we're gonna go into our hamstring, I'm sorry, our four point hip mobility. All right, so I'm in this quadruped position. I wanna make sure that I'm up, my knees are slightly off the ground. I'm not bringing that butt up in the air. I'm not pushing back on those shoulders. I'm in this position the entire time. Swing that knee out, touch that foot. I want you to be really slow and controlled with this. 10 on each side. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. 10. Woo, all right. Then we got our archer planks. Love how these feel. Widen out those feet. Drag that arm along your chest. Follow that hand with your eyes. Drag your hand back down to the other side. Get that really nice rotation, really opening up. Two, 10 on each side. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoo! Yeah, guys, that is an awesome way to start this Friday. Um, I think for me, one of the hardest things throughout the quarantine has been not being around your energies physically in the dojo around me. I, I really thrive off of your, all the energy and all the enthusiasm and everything that you guys bring in here. It just enlivens me and I love checking in with you. I love seeing your faces. Um, yesterday, when we got to volunteer, that helped me get out of my own head, and it helped me remember and feel those feelings of being around other human beings, especially when we're in an environment where we're all trying to learn and grow from each other. And um, I just can't, I can't suggest that enough, especially if you're getting sad or down or you also have to feel safe and comfortable about being outside with other human beings. Now, the, the situation that we were in yesterday, we were outside and we were masked and we had gloves and it felt very, very safe to me. But, you know, just think about sometimes what you can do to get yourself maybe out of your own head, especially while we're in this, this time of um, some, some solitude, right? So anyway, we are here to help you bring forth the warrior within and I am going to be sending out, or Josh and I are going to be sending out an invite to a Zoom meeting that we're going to have, um, I think, on Tuesday of next week. It'll be in the evening. And we're going to talk about all the details as far as what we know right now, as far as the reopening of the gym. And, and we'll have, you know, all you guys there, you can have questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll try to work through all of the logistics of that. All right. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. 
Oh, right.